Welcome back y'all, this is Yanny, and today I'm doing a video I'm a little bit embarrassed about. I'm embarrassed because I have not unboxed this and um, it's been sitting in my wax closet. I completely forgot about it until a few days ago when I was hunting for the Mom's Life blend that was being offered in this recent April RTS selection. And I went through all my teddy bees and then I realized that it was still in this box and that I have not opened everything up and unpacked. So I'm kind of embarrassed about that. Now, this is from the RTS for the fall and winter pre-order in 2022. So the RTS happened in November, I can't remember if it was November 11th or 17th, something like that, but it was like a week or two before Thanksgiving. And I got everything very quickly. Um, I did check to make sure everything was there. And I smelled, I think, most of the scents just initially, because I knew I didn't have like time at that point to unpack. But it has been ages, and other than the Mom's Life scent that I just was talking about in my recent video, I have not re-smelled these, so um, I'm actually really excited to dive back into these and actually get these out of this box into my collection so that I can actually remember I have these blends and start enjoying them. So here is the card, Teddy Bees, and the owner is, whoops, I am doing this the wrong way. So here's the card, this is Teddy Bees Wax. I love her new card, it's very minimalist simplistic and this is tiffany smith is the owner they're based out of houston texas and if you have never received an order from teddy bees she always has bubble wrap um, surrounding it it's folded over so it goes all the way around and then there is these paper shred that are securing everything in the box and making sure things don't rattle around, particularly because her wax is a little bit on the softer side. Um, I appreciate the care she takes in making sure everything is protected as much as possible in shipping. Vendors can't control what happens in shipping, obviously, but I appreciate that she's responsible for the goodies that we purchase getting out of her door in a manner that gives it the best chance to arrive at her place, not all squished up. So, I am going to move this box aside and take all these little worms aside that you can see a bunch of tubs in here and a few souffles and we'll run over these quickly. My point is to not make this a long video and proceed about my day with a little less guilt on my conscience for neglecting this for so long and um, maybe dive into some of these this week. All right, let me pause for a second. All right, everything's unpacked and I got two souffles in 13 tubs in the fall winter RTS. I did go back in on that to pick up extras from that pre-order that I either got in a souffle or just really, really liked and wanted to go ahead and pick up more of so I had enough to last till whenever it gets bored again. I also got some of the tubs that were limited pours for the RTS, both some of the new blends and some returning ones that I have been really hoping would get poured again. I was so nervous that I would try to check out and in particular one of the blends not be in my cart. So seriously, I was so happy that um, I managed to get that one because I really love it and it has not been offered in about a year and a half and I'm completely out so let's go ahead and start with ones that I went back in that had been offered in the pre-order that I wanted some extras of first up is blushed and this is vanilla birch blended with peach flesh strawberries warm woods and marshmallows this was probably one of my favorites if not my favorite from the fall winter pre-order I'd only gotten a souffle because I wasn't sure about it, but I really love peach scents and on cold, I knew this is one I was going to like probably on warm. Now I have not melted it yet, but I did get a tub 
in the RTS and I really regret just not grabbing a loaf because as this continues to cure I just get more and more excited about melting it and I've been hearing some other people are melting it already so I need to dig in. Um, this scent is just beautiful. I was worried it'd be too perfumey or um, maybe even have a note of floral or something in there even though it's not listed but you get that peach flesh and it's not like a gummy ring peach it really smells like a peach that you bite into and you kind of feel the fuzziness of the skin and a little bit of that juice um, I don't really get strawberries on cold but we'll see if that comes out warmed then there is kind of a warm dry earthiness from the vanilla birch that is so intriguing with this blend honestly um, I used to not think I really liked birch and it has grown on me so much the last year but it adds just this depth to the scent and there's a sweetness it's absolutely gorgeous if you're in doubt um, try to get this in a small and just smell it um, really hope that she offers this again soon I also picked up a tub in Oak Cider and Woods. This is Warm Mold Cider, Cedar, Oak, Vanilla, Toasted Marshmallow, Pine Cones, and Smoked Woods. I had only gotten a souffle of this as well in the pre-order, and I immediately knew I wanted some more of this one. It has a light spiced apple in here. I wouldn't say it's heavily spiced, but if you're sensitive to spices, this might not be a good one for you because it definitely has that cinnamon and warmth that you would get from like a chai or um, a typical like apple cider that has some spices in it. But the apple in here is really nice. It's a sweet apple, but it's not too cloying. It's not perfumey in my opinion. And it's not like a Mac apple or a green or tart apple. It's really pleasant and just gives a warm, sweet, fruity note to this blend. The other things that I'm getting, um, smelling this now, are the cedar, oak, and the pine cones. And the cedar has kind of a dry, woodsy note that is also very warm and then the oak is that kind of dry um, heavier deep woodsy note there's sweetness and then kind of a sharp green note from the pine cones and not sharp in an unpleasant way it's more of like it's cutting the dry deep sweetness of these other notes and I am really going to enjoy melting this I think this fall and winter I think it'll be a really good scent um, at that time and as I was unpacking I realized I do have a few lids that are cracked but I'll just slide those into seven by seven bags if you need to order bags you can usually find them for certain vendors if you're already placing an order for example I think Teddy B's is offering some bags like packs of five for a dollar but if you're ordering already from say L3 they have bags in various sizes I don't think they have seven by sevens but if you're looking for seven by sevens in particular which is the size for the tubs to fit into then you can go to clearbags.com they have a lot of good sizes and depth um, thicknesses of bags depending on how thick you like the bags to be so I would recommend going there if you're not already placing an order from a vendor that offers bags. This was another surprise for me in the full winter pre-order. I had never picked this up before. I don't know why but there was just maybe the florals in here I was a little bit nervous about but this is Anthony's Cabin and it's birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and woods. And I love the decoration on here. It is just gorgeous. Beautiful white snow wax with this blue drizzle and little butterflies. I'll show you all the bottom. There's some blue glitter and these dark blue butterflies. Just beautiful. So this is made in honor and memory of 
a longtime Teddy Bees customer who son passed away and Tiffany made this blend um, to honor his life, which I think is incredible for a vendor to do. And there are many people in the wax community that melt this um, on a special day to keep his memory alive. And so this coming year, I plan to do that as well. Um, and as well meant this other days, but it is a beautiful blend. If you kind of like woodsy notes, um, woodsy blends, I would suggest picking this up. Right now what I'm getting is sandalwood and pine cone with a hint of that citrus. And the citrus peel doesn't necessarily read lemon or orange or grapefruit to me. It just gives a little bit of a zesty freshness. I really really like this one on cold so looking forward to enjoying this later this year now I know this was in part three the part three of my teddy bees haul last year that did not get uploaded and I'm sorry that for that y'all I wound up having issues with the file and I tried to go back in and completely redo the voiceover hoping I could salvage it but it just turned into a complete mess and by that time we were in the holidays and it's just I've not had time to completely do it I debated whether I should just re-record that video but I just don't even know if that is something I should be using my time on so this is something I picked up in the fall winter pre-order and I really love the smell of it on cold. This is Morning Cup of Christmas. It's vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, and a hint of fresh pine. And this has definitely been curing. Uh, I feel like the pine is stronger than it used to be initially, but it's also not overtaking the blend. Um, it's just a hint and I feel like back in November, I really wasn't getting the pine that much in the blend. I'll pop this out. It has green sparkles on the bottom. It's very Christmassy and festive. Mainly, I'm getting a spiced apple. And this definitely has a spice like cinnamon stick. It has been simmering in a pot with these fruits. And then apple and cranberry. It's really delicious. It kind of reminds me of this fruit compote my mom used to make around the holidays. It was a really special treat. It had plums and pears and all sorts of other fruits in there and it simmered in a pot till everything was just syrupy. The juice kind of came out. I don't know what, what it was coming from, maybe the plums, but it was this deep burgundy liquid that kind of thickened up and she had cinnamon sticks and some cloves and other things that were simmering in there. And it was just so beautiful. And you'd have this hot fruit compote with some biscuits around the holidays. Kind of reminds me of that, except for I don't think that had cranberry in there. But it has that deep fruitiness and then just a hint of pine. And it just reminds me of Christmas. So next year I am going to melt this and just be taken back to childhood. I feel like it reminds me of that feeling, that nostalgia. Next up, I only got a souffle of this and I loved it on cold. And I also saw Amy Simpson songs doing a warm review of it before the RTS happened. And I thought, oh gosh, I've got to get some more of this one because it sounds so good on warm and I'm already liking the way it smells on cold. So this is Sweet Spot and it's butterscotch, warm snickled, snicker, warm, bleh, okay, I can say it. Butterscotch, warm snickerdoodle cookies, pecan waffles, and vanilla cream. It's just a dusting of that bronze and gold stars and glitter. I'm not gonna pop it out completely, but you can see the bottom is similar. I'm not even holding this close to my face. I can smell the butterscotch and that kind of sweet, caramely, but it's not just like burnt sugar. It's got vanilla and butter in it. And I'm getting a little bit of the pecan waffles, kind of like pumpkin pecan waffles with that butterscotch. 
and just a hint of cinnamon. It smells so good. I might not even wait until this fall to break into this because there's periodically those days where I want a really sweet, heavy gourmand. This one doesn't particularly smell heavy, but it is a denser bakery scent. And if there's a rainy day where I'm just wanting to feel cozy and like my house is hugging me with the scent, then I might pop this in. There's another one that has a little bit of a crack on here, so I will need to bag this, but definitely glad I was able to get a tub of that. Um, then I got two souffles of scents that I did smell in the pre-order. This was actually a sample that Tiffany included, and this is gingerbread ice cream cake. It's sweet buttercream layered between warm white cake and vanilla ice cream topped with loads of gingerbread crumbs. And I only got a souffle of this because I'm not a big gingerbread fan in wax. But this gingerbread is not harsh and bitter like many gingerbreads are. The spices sometimes just take gingerbread to a like heavy spice bitterness that I just don't enjoy. This is nicely spiced. I mainly get that ginger instead of the other heavy spices like allspice or clove that can kind of be in blends and what I'm mainly getting really over the gingerbread is the buttercream the vanilla buttercream and it smells so good so I'm probably gonna regret only getting a souffle hopefully it gets offered again sometime because I feel like this is a gingerbread scent that I can get behind and I have heard several people who have warmed it who really like it, so hopefully that becomes more of a staple around the Teddy Bee's Hive for the fall and winter pre-orders. And then last of the returning from the pre-order scents, I picked up another souffle in God's Woods. I had gotten a tub in the pre-order and I really love this scent. This is one of the Palo Santo Game of Thrones scents that Tiffany does. And it's Palo Santo, Birchwood, Pine, and Vanilla Balsam. You definitely get that Palo Santo, which she has an excellent Palo Santo. And then a little bit of the earthiness from the Birchwood, but it's mainly Vanilla Balsam and Pine on cold at least. And I haven't melted it yet, but I love this color. It's like a deep olive and then this black and kind of gold flecks that are chunky. I'm not going to pop it out. But this is very green, evergreen, foresty, And I'm totally here for it. I was unboxing recently uh, my pre-order from the January pre-order and I was smelling some of the scents. When I smelled something I thought this reminds me of God's Woods from the recent pre-order in the fall. And so if you happen to recently get Pacific Northwest Winter in the recent January pre-order from Teddy Bees, and you haven't gotten God's Woods, or if you have God's Woods but you didn't get Pacific Northwest Winter, they smell very, very similar. The Pacific Northwest Winter does not have the notes of Palo Santo in here. Um, and Godswood obviously doesn't have the cranberry, but I really don't pick up on the cranberry in Pacific Northwest winter on cold right now. We'll just have to see how it is on warm, but I feel like these two are very, very, very similar scents, um, with just a tiny bit of a change with the Palo Santo, frankly. So if you have one and if you really love it, you might like the other. All right, let's pop into the one scent that I did get that was offered in the pre-order, but I didn't pick it up and I heard people talking about it and I was like, you know what, I'm going to just take a risk. I took a risk with Blushed and I loved it, so I'm gonna take a risk with this one and hopefully, hopefully I will love it as well. It is Grown Woman Shh. I'm not going to say the word, not because I can't, but just because I don't know if someone has kids in the background who are watching this, and so I'm just going to avoid saying it for 
that reason. This is Palo Santo Orchid Amber and Smoked Vanilla. The reason I didn't initially get this is I'm not a big floral fan and I'm not a big smoky fan. So I wasn't sure about the smoked vanilla. The lid is cracked a little bit, as you can see. So I bagged it. But this is really pretty. I love the color. That kind of deep, muted, dusty plum. And I'll go ahead and pop it out for y'all. It has black and gold glitter flecks on the bottom. First thing I get is that orchid. Orchid, if you've never tried that, is definitely a heavier floral. Kind of think Easter lily, if you will. I feel like it's very similar to the scent of lilies, but it is so beautiful. I'm not really getting smoked vanilla, but I am getting a note of the amber, which I'm not a big amber fan, but it's very pretty in here. And then the Palo Santo which isn't heavy in this on cold either. I'm excited to melt it and just kind of see how it changes on warm because I feel like this is one of those scents that is really going to transform once it's cured and in the warmers because um, there's just a lot of subtle blending in here, which Tiffany is a very gifted blender. Um, one reason why so many people love her wax because she has so many sophisticated elegant scents and this is definitely one of them in my opinion on cold so looking forward to melting this I'm not sure if I will melt it this spring well I don't know why shouldn't I I guess I should I should give it a try this spring um, maybe sometime in May I will try a little bit of this on a day where I'm in the mood for a floral but it's almost so pretty that I hate to cut into it. All right. I also got tubs that I have had the scent before, but I am completely out of. These tubs were scents poured only for the RTS, and they were returning scents, not the new ones poured. So first up is The Beautiful Creatures, and this is Pecan Waffles. Palo Santo and vanilla milk. So this is basically pumpkin pecan waffles in her Palo Santo. And it may seem like a simple idea to blend together, but this one is just so good. I melted the last souffle I had last fall and before the pre-order, before I even knew she was offering this, I kind of love this color, this kind of dusty purpley rose, the gold flecks. I'll show you the bottom, kind of similar. But she has a great pumpkin pecan waffles blend. The pumpkin note really kind of isn't there. And it is a deep gourmand, heavy bakery. And then it has her sweet, a little woodsy, a little bit smoky Palo Santo. This blend performs incredibly well. Um, when I melted the souffle, it lasted into the third day before I decided to take it out. It probably could have gone the whole third day, but I just was in the mood for something else. Her Palo Santo, if you've never tried it, is very similar to Marshmallow Fireside. And this is just a beautiful bakery complex blend. Um, definitely a winner in my book. So hopefully she pours this again because I'm probably going to melt this whole tub this fall and then I will be out and need some more for next year and then the other ones that I have had before and then I have melted is over the hill and through the woods and this is her blend Christmas trees and cream blended with warm apple cider and if you've never had Christmas trees and cream it is a great blend from Teddy B's it is vanilla buttercream vanilla waffle cone I believe and um, pine boughs, I believe, or Christmas tree pine bow, Christmas bre tea bre bleh. Christmas tree boughs or pine boughs, something like that. That's definitely a pine scent. And this particular blend has also warm apple cider. So this is a huge favorite of mine. I've been out for a really long time, and it's also a big favorite of 
one of my sweet friends on Instagram, Bernice. If you're not following her, go follow her. She is one of the most genuine, real, authentic, kind people I've met in the wax community. She's not here for self um, glorification and she's just a wonderful person. She also posts really pretty pictures and has the most adorable children. Her little daughter is cute as a button. So go follow her on Instagram. But this is another one that's a huge favorite of hers. And I was afraid she wouldn't be able to grab some in the RTS. So I did pick her up a tub. And then I got two other tubs to keep in case it doesn't get poured again. So I got three tubs. I'm sorry if you missed out on this. But let's get Tuffany <laughs> to pour this again. So this is basically the Christmas trees and cream blend. You get that buttercream and the evergreen pine notes, but then you get this really subtle, lightly, lightly spiced apple. I feel like this is one of the more subtle Christmas tree and cream blends where the warm apple cider isn't really in competition with the Christmas trees and cream part, but it just adds this nice fruity, light hint of spice to it and overall it's just very Christmassy and wintry. I love it. Now I haven't melted it in so long. Um, I'm hoping I still love it but I do love it on cold. Um, on cold it's mainly mainly the Christmas trees and cream that pine and a little bit of the vanilla scent coming through but you do get a tiny whiff of cinnamon from the apple cider so I'm looking forward to melting this I might not even wait until the fall and lastly I did get three tubs that were brand new poured for the RTS if you've watched my recent Teddy B's RTS survival guide that I just posted you know I was talking about mom life and how it smells on cold this is creamy oat milk frothy vanilla cold foam and a hint of sensual vanilla when I ordered this I don't know what I was thinking I thought it was some sort of a coffee scent even though coffee is very clearly not in the scent notes which is my fault again gorgeous color I love just the tiny bit of glitter Same on the bottom so this is definitely body care vanilla kind of perfumey vanilla and there's a note in here that kind of reminds me of boardwalk marshmallow clouds but in addition to that there is this bakery note I think it's the oat milk but it kind of reminds me of that toasty smell that you get from an oatmeal cookie that's like baking in the oven or fresh out of the oven and still warm and it's really good in this scent I'm going to melt it sometime I'm not really sure exactly when maybe I'll wait till the fall but I'm glad that I have a tub of this and I'm curious if anybody has gotten this or melted it would you let me know down below what you thought of it I'm curious I'm, I'm curious to hear other people's thoughts on this. Next up, I got a tub in Sweet Mint and Candy Canes, and this is Cool Peppermint Candies blended with Sweet Vanilla Mint. And it is a pink with red glitter. So I really, really love peppermint blends, and I thought I would love this one, but there is a floral note in here and I was smelling this just a little bit ago trying to remember what this reminds me of. I definitely get the peppermint but there's this sweet floral and then suddenly it clicked. It reminds me of the vanilla mint from Scentsy. Now I had such high hopes for the vanilla mint from Scentsy but I melted that in the last several months and there is a floral note in that vanilla mint which doesn't belong there I don't know where it's coming from I guess it's maybe the vanilla part but whatever is in there it is definitely that oil in here in addition to like candy cane or peppermint added I'm not sure if I will be able to melt this or not just because that floral really kind of bothered <laughs> me when I melted the Scentsy version. So we'll see. I'm going to set this aside and 
maybe come back to it in a few months and see if I'm just going to pass it along to someone else or try it. I'm curious, anybody else who got this, do you pick up on a floral note? The very last item I got, which I've heard so many people rave about, they have begged for it to be poured, and when I saw it on the limited pour item, I was like, oh, I really want to try this, and I was worried I wouldn't get it, but it is Christmas Macchiato, and this is Fresh Pine Buttercream Vanilla Waffle Cone Espresso and vanilla ice cream. So it is the Christmas trees and cream blend plus espresso and vanilla ice cream. On cold, I actually don't get any coffee from here. So y'all tell me if you've melted this before. Does the coffee come out when you warm it? There is a note in here that's not in the Christmas trees and cream that reminds me a little bit of like a caramel latte or caramel creamer that you might put into a coffee but I'm not necessarily getting the coffee note it's a sweet caramel plus that Christmas trees and cream scent with the pine I do like it but I'm not sure if I will like the coffee blended with that blend or not so stay tuned I will try to melt it this fall maybe a little bit sooner if I'm in the mood for it but let me know on warm if you've melted this do you smell coffee all right that is everything I got from the fall winter RTS with Teddy Bees let me know did you get any of these scents either in the pre-order or the RTS and what do you think about them did you have a favorite once again, thank y'all for spending part of your day with me. I really appreciate y'all watching and commenting. And I hope everybody is enjoying all the wax from the recent Teddy Bees pre-order as well. Um, continuing to slowly work my way through watching everybody's hauls. But I want to hear about people who order from Teddy Bees who are enjoying their wax who don't just film on YouTube. So let me know down below your thoughts or feel free to message me on Instagram because I love talking to other people and making new friends in the wax community. Thank you all for watching.